What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday. This will be the last Main Deck Monday before Steam Sage comes out. And if you watched, if you've been watching Saturday tournaments in the past couple weeks, we've covered a lot of decks over top US top eight US nationals. And one of the decks we have not covered is Sizer Giratina. So before the uh, Steam Siege Steam Sage is uh, guest introduced into PGCGO, we'll look at the last deck that we have not covered from US nationals, and that of course is a second place deck. Size 2 and Giratina. We did not change the list at all. It changed exactly the same. And we're going to see what the deck is about and why did it get second place. Now, this deck has two main attackers. It's going to be Size 2 with Quake Punch, does 30. Your opponent can't play an item cards from their hand. And Giratina with Chaos Well, which does 100 damage. And your opponent can't play any Pokemon tools, special energy, or stadium cards from their hand during their next turn. And also has the ability. Renegade Pulse, which says prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Mega Evolution Pokemon. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to switch between attackers of Sidestone and Giratina, when to use them, and when to go for the complete item lock, and when to go for the uh, different kind of lock, which is uh, Tools, Special Energies, and Stadiums. We also have another attacker in the deck as well, which is Latios EX. Latios has a really cool attack called Fast Raid. It does 40, and if you go first, you can use the attack on your first turn, which gives you the capability of knocking out Pokemon. Because Latios does 40, and since you play Muscle Band, you can do 20 more damage, which is 60, which can knock out so many different base Pokemon, and Fighting Fruit as well, which can make you do 50, which is not... I mean, 50 can be a number as well. Muscle Band can give you another one, 60. And also, we play Geovite Scheme to give you another ally to hit that 20+, plus, or maybe you do 80 damage, which could maybe knock out some Pokemon as well. I don't remember 80 too much, but I know 60 is like the magic number on so many different Pokemon, which is really great. And that's why Latios is in the deck. We play 3 Shame to help set up a 1 Hoopa to scout during the search for 3 EX Pokemon. That's all the Pokemon in the deck. We also have Latios for the second attack, Light Pulse 110. Prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Alright, so there, there we go. That's all of our attackers. So let's look at our item cards and see what else do we play in this deck. So for Crush Namer, flip the point if has discard energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. This course goes well with Size Toad because if you can discard energy, your opponent can play Sporter card or can't play their item cards, which most like, most means they can't play their BS Seekers, which gives them a harder time to hit their Sporter cards. They can't find their energy cards, which is great for you, and uh, you eventually just win the game and run out of energies. For Puzzle Time, if you play two of these, you put two cards through your discard pile into your hand, which is really strong. For Super Scoop Up, full point of pass, return one Pokemon into your hand. Just in case this money almost gets knocked out, you can put it back in your hand. If you need to reuse Shebe, you can do that as well. And if you need to get a Pokemon out of the X spot, Super Scoop Up can help that way too, which is great. Three Chains Mode, four, three oh twelve, four VS Seeker. I imagine when building this deck, it, the, the the, the space was very tight. It was hard to get everything in there, which is why he played the three train as well and three ultra ball. Now, three ultra ball is not too bad because if you get ultra ball for Hoopa, that's all you really need. You're really not going to search for any Pokemon after that, which is really nice. So that's all the train, all the item guards play in this deck. So we play one AZ, return one Pokemon into your hand, discard all cards attached to it. One Geo Body Scheme, which we talked about, it lets you do 20 more damage with the Latios, but it can do more things. It can let you draw to have five cards in your hand. And do that 20 plus could make a difference. Uh, uh, maybe you need a maybe you need to knock out a Grad on or something which has like 240 HP. Well, you can Geovite scheme with Giratina and then Geovite scheme with Giratina again to do 240. It's weird math like that that can help you knock out. Also, if somebody has like 220 HP, you can do 100 damage with Giratina and then next turn uh, use a Geovite scheme with Giratina to do 120, which is 220, which can knock out Pokemon and hit these really cool numbers. And that's why I like it. You also can like Giratina Muscle Band. For 120, the next turn, Giratina Muscle Span Geovite Scheme for 240. So Geovite Scheme is a really, really strong card in this deck. One Hex Maniac to turn off abilities to the end of your opponent's turn. Uh, two Lysander to bring Pokemon off the bench. One in, three Sycamore. Uh, we play a low count of Sycamore in because there's three Shamans in the deck. That's when we help you set up. One Skyla, which is really great. It lets you search for a trainer card. But with the trainer card, you can like Super Scoop Up, Crush Namer, whatever. And also, the main thing it helps you do is, if you have a puzzle time in your hand and a Skyla, you get Skyla for a puzzle time to get two puzzles in your hand to get any two cards out of your discard pile, which is really nice. Uh, one Team Flare Gun, discard energy attached to your opponent's X Pokemon. One Zerosic, choose a tool or specialty card to play to any Pokemon to play and discard it, which is really nice. Uh, one 
Silent Lab, each place each basic Pokemon to play in each player's hand, and each player's Discobala has no abilities. And one team Aqua Secret Base, the retreat cost of each Pokemon to play is one colors more, which is really nice when you combo with Gear with Giratina, because Giratina makes where your opponent can't play any standard cards, so now they can't bump your team Aqua Secret Base. Or the Silent Lab, it'll be stuck there until Giratina gets knocked out. Or if you don't, or if you just don't cancel well a turn, which is really cool. Uh, two Fighting Free Belts to give Pokemon 40 more HP and do 10 more damage. And, you know, some people are going to say that Saito is not that great in standard, but obviously it is. It got second place. Uh, the reason why it's so great is now Saito has 220 HP, which is a lot. And combining this with, uh, with Super Scoopo to reuse the Saito over and over again, your Saito aren't really going to get knocked out. You're only Quick Punch for 40, but... You're slowly going to run your, your opponent out of resources, and they're not going to be able to use the cards, and this is why Sensor is so strong. Uh, two Flowstone, one Muscle Bay, which, of course, is mainly used for Latios to hit that uh, 60, but it can also work with Giratina as well. One Headringer to make it where one uh, make it where one of your opponent's EX Pokemon needs one more energy to attack. Um, usually when you see this deck, you play like 0-3 or, or something, but he we did opt to play one um, in their list, all right? So four Double Dragon, which, of course, goes well with uh, Latios and Giratina. Double Dragon says this card can only be attached to Dragon Pokemon. This card only provides every type of energy, but provides only two energy at a time while this card is attached to a Dragon Pokemon. So basically, it counts as any any kind of energies. So if you attach to Latios, it counts as a, as a Psychic and maybe a Water if needed. And when attached to Giratina, it counts as a Psychic and Grass, uh, which is really nice as well. And four DCEs, which can help you with Side Stone and your Giratina. Not so much with Latios, because he does need it, like... Uh, water Psychic Psychic Colors, but you could use the DC to treat it. You can use the DC on Hoopa to treat it, which is nice as well. And Chainmans, you get a Sky Return if you want to with DCE. But if you're Sky Return, you're in bad position. I'm pretty much, I, that's what I'm going to guess. If you're if you're Sky Return, you're in bad shape. But there you go, guys. There's the Sidestone Guaranteed deck that got second place at US Nationals. Now, with the upcoming format, Steam Sage, this deck is going to gain a new card, which is Ninja Boy. Ninja Boy makes this deck so amazing because what can happen? Is you can quake a punch, right? You can have a size to quake a punch. Next turn, you ninja boy, you switch out that size to a, to a Giratina, attach a double dragon, and you'll be a okay. It doesn't matter who's on your field, whatever energy you attach, whatever, you can just ninja boy to another attacker and uh, be okay. So that's really, really cool. I think ninja boy, man, ninja boy is such a cool card. I'm so excited to see it come out this Wednesday, and next week we'll start seeing that these decks use these cards, and I'm so excited, but hopefully you just enjoy this deck introduction, I know it's not a new deck, I know we've seen it before a billion times, but I think it's, it is a really strong deck, there's a reason why I got second place at US Nationals, but hopefully you enjoy this deck introduction, thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, pretty good L-U-U-K playing a water deck, which could need a straight good ninja deck, most likely, uh, call heads like always, and let's see what happens, we won the cleave, which is great. Yeah, I'd like to go first, and let's see what's going to happen. Can we find this a size material or not? Alright, so there's Side Stone, Double Dragon. My opponent has no basic Pokemon, so let's get this Side Stone. And if they are playing Greninja, okay, we can maybe dunk a uh, a Froki turn one. Alright, so they're going to have new cards, okay. And let's see, can we dunk a, yeah, can we dunk a Froki or not? That's the question. Is one Pokemon coming down, and do they have enough Pokemon? It does not seem like it, and yes, we'll draw from the Mulligan. There's a Hex Maniac. We'll press Done. And there is a Froakie. Now, he has 60 HP, so we do need the Muscle Band. So, I'm going to Ultra Blood discard 1 and 2. And with this, we got to hope that Giratina is in the deck. And there's, I mean, Hoopa. So, there's Hoopa. All right. And let's see his Muscle Band in here as well. Uh, the okay, Muscle Band's in here. Great. Okay. So, Muscle Band. Uh, Geobody Scheme. So, we'll grab the Hoopa. I guess we could have kept the Giovanni scheme, but we'll go for Hoopa. We'll use Scoundering. We'll search for three EX Pokemon. And with this, we'll grab a Toad, a uh, Latios, and a Giratina. All right. So the question is, can we get the Dunk or not? So we're going to get those three Pokemon into our hand. We'll put down Latios, put down Giratina, put down Scythetoad. We'll put a Double Dragon on this guy. And let's go for a Shea Base. Set up for three new cards. Let's see, what do we get Alrighty, one, two, three. All right, so super scoop up. Let's try to play it. And so we'll pick up the size stone. We'll send up this this guy. We'll use another super scoop up. Oh, and all right, so we're gonna pick up the shaman. We'll put down the toad. We will uh, train your I mean, puzzle time. And oh no, no. Okay, so we're not gonna get it next third. Okay, we're not gonna get it right now. So I'm gonna grab Ultra Ball, uh, Life Center, DCE. We know that's where the three cards are gonna be uh, off shaman. I guess I should have kept that Geovodus game. So, Shaman set up for three new cards. Okay. 
Uh, so one, two, three. We'll Ultra Ball discard the Zerosic and Lysander, and with this, we'll grab nothing. So we'll grab, yep, press done. We'll AZ put the Shaman back at your hand. We'll put it back down, and we're gonna Shaman for four new cards. Can we find this Muscle Man or not? That's the big question. And oh, Trainer's Mel, come on, Trainer's Mel, don't let me down in. Oh no. All right, so I guess we'll grab a Crush Hammer for next turn, and we'll just go for the fast raid. 440 damage. We messed up Muscle Man. I mean, I mean, <laughs> if we would have kept that, oh man, if we would have kept that Geovitus game in our hand, we could have took a knockout, but we would dead with a VS Seeker. Oh man. Wait, do we, do we whiff it? Hopefully I didn't see one. I mean, hopefully there was one outside Trainer's Mill, and I just, oh man, hopefully not. Hopefully I didn't make a misplay that bad. But we see a Trainer's Mill. My opponent's going to look at the top four cards of their deck, and let's see what they decide to get. Either way, their Froki is in some danger right now. It can be knocked out next turn fairly easily. There's a Water Gene going to the active. We could see a bounce, uh, a bubble, sorry, not bounce, bubble. Flip a coin if has your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. But Birch, looks like they got a heads as well. It's going to get seven new cards. Uh, another Froki hitting the field, okay. And it's going to come down to this bubble flip. Oh, bubble could be really big. But we see a VS Seeker for Professor Birch. Going to put it into their hand. We can also, uh, oh, heads, all right. That's, woo, all right, so uh, we are paralyzed now. All right, on to our turn. We get a, G, uh, a Giratina. I'm going to put a DC on a side stone, and I am going to go for a Crush Hammer to 1. Heads will discard that, and let's go for N, and we're looking for a Super Scooper to pick up this Latios. Oh, no, we whiffed it. All right, well, I guess we will just uh, end our turn. It's our opponent's turn. All right, so things are going terrible for us. We whiffed, we whiffed the Donk. We got paralyzed. <laughs> we whiffed at the Super Scoop up. We, we could have had it if we would have kept the Geovitus game in our hand. Oh, man. Uh, but my opponent needs to find an energy for their Froakie. We can also just, like, fast raid for the knockout, regardless, to get a Frogadier out. Put a double drag on this guy and put some heavy pressure in now. There's a Frogadier coming down. Okay. Hmm, I wonder what their plan is right now. Okay, another Frogadier coming. Okay, I guess their plan is to get two Frogadiers down. That seems great. I guess they they don't play Rare Candy, because they play Rare Candy. They could have headed to this Froakie on the bench, uh, but it looks like they're not going to. And let's see, do they have an energy attachment for the turn? That's the big question as well. But next turn, we can attach a double dragon to the Giratina. It's, oh man, Max Potion. Okay, well, I guess I have to go for a Light Pulse to knock this guy out. Alrighty. Uh, okay, there's an Ultra Pod discarding a Frogadier. Oh, a Frogadier being discarded. Okay, uh, that one card in their hand must be really useful, and that's why they're keeping it. What's this one card going to get them? Uh, maybe a Rim Raid? Okay, so they're playing an Octillery variant with no Shamans, most likely. So we'll see the Rim Raid coming down. And uh, their Sigmar going to discard the hand, draw us 70 cards. But like I said, we can put a double drag on the active, knock out the Froakie, and then a Frogadier. Next turn we can uh, go for a Greninja knockout if we get a Muscle Band. We have a Geovite scheme already to knock one out. And we see Water Duplicates, which we only get a one. Nope, not going to get them anything. All right, so in our turn, we get a VS Seeker. So we're double dragging the active. We'll go for a Light Pulse for 110 to knock out that Frogadier. Okay. So we'll go down to Fire Price cards. Next turn, get via Seeker for Geovitus Games to knock out a Greninja if it does come out. I think it has 130, which would be a knockout for sure. So to our opponent's turn, let's see what happens. They're going to draw a card. Okay. Now, if they Greninja, then wall into Greninja Break, I'll cry because we don't have an answer for that one. But there's an Auxiliary coming to the field. They can use Abyssal Hand to draw five, cards in, in, uh, draw five cards into their hand, or draw up to five cards in their hand. Um, and next to you, what, man, this, these sides look so funny as well, like, they have all these far EXs, while our opponent has these two, like, non-EXs. Alright, so it does have 130, which is great, must make on to the active as well. Uh, Sacred Ash, gonna shuffle five combinations of Pokemons back into their deck, uh, okay. And let's see, probably, like, Frogadier, Frogadier, Froki, and Greninja break, okay. And my opponent needs to find another Froki, if they don't, they're gonna be in serious trouble. So, this way, I'm gonna draw two, can they find a Froki or not, that is the big question. Oh, baby. And even if they do, they're still in some trouble. Like, we just going to take a knock on this Greninja. The things are looking bad. But there's Ultra Ball discarding a Rare Candy and a Max Potion. So they do play Rare Candies. The question is, how many do they play? And, uh, let's see. He could go for a, a Moonlight Slash for 100. So there's a Froakie coming down the field. Okay. Has he played a support card yet? I don't think so. All right. So Froakie hitting the field. Uh, Muscle Bay going down to Froakie. And we will see a Sycamore going to discard the hand, draw seven new cards. Now, once again, the question becomes, how many, uh, how many rare candies does our opponent play? So another uh, Froakie hit in the field, okay. And we, oh, does he have a water energy? 
If he whiffed his water G, that'd be really bad as well. I mean, hopefully he did. That'd be, that'd be really good for us. We've seen Ultra Ball discarding a uh, Delinquent and a VS sticker. Okay. So, we got to remember, he plays Delinquent. He's already played two Max Ocean down as well, which doesn't really matter too much. There's a Greninja Break, which he's not going to be able to use next turn. My opponent thinks he's going to be able to, but eh, it's not looking good for him. Oh, he's... Oh, never mind. He is going to... Wait. It has free... Oh, it has free treat. I always forget about that. All right. So, on our turn, we get a Team Flare Gun. Okay. So, I'm going to double drag on this Giratina. I am going to Via Seeker for a Lysander. I'm going to bring up this Greninja and do heavy damage to it while we can. Uh, we know he has a break in hand. We know that's for sure. So we'll go for Light Pulse for 110. I forgot that he has free retreat. All right, so 110. If he does, if he plays the third Max Motion, oh, man, I'm going to freak out. Uh, we're going to draw a card. And there's a bitch screen coming out. Opponent realizes he can't win the game. I guess he must only play one Rare Candy, like I said. Let's look and see. Does he, Can we see how many Rare Candies he plays? Yeah, he only plays out one rare candy. He already discarded, so it's gonna be really it's gonna be really hard to set up another Greninja while we'll be light pulsing over and over again to knock out his Frogadiers. Because next turn his only option was to maybe like retreat to a Froakie and uh go for a bubble maybe. Uh but if you flip Talos, we could license him to bring up that Greninja and knock it out. Even if he vaults a Greninja break, would have knocked out regardless. There we go, there's round one of the uh size to a Giratina deck. That one was just like Latios and Giratina just going ham. We did whiff the donk. Which is pretty funny. We could have had it if we didn't discard that Geovita scheme, but I was just playing safe. Uh, make sure, because I was I, I was pretending like we we're going to hit double tails on those super scoop ups, like you kind of should. Um, I didn't want to discard. I think I was like DC and something else. I want to keep those in our hand. But we'll see what happens in game number two of the Science of Giratina deck, and we'll see what happens. All right, putting against Jopo Max playing a Lightning and a Colors deck could be a Mega Manetric deck, and let's see what happens. When the coin flip, okay. So, yeah, I would love to go first. Hopefully, it's a Raichu deck and we get a knockout this time with Latio. So, all right. So. Okay, so we start Shaman. <laughs> it's like it's like all the cards we don't want to start with. So, we'll, we'll press done and uh, let's see what happens. Maybe they are playing some kind of Shaman deck and we get a turn one knockout. I mean, not, not a Shaman deck, a Raichu deck. What is going on right now? So, oh my goodness, there's a Pikachu. All right, so let's go for Hoopa. We'll use Scoundering. All right, can we get a, a Donk this turn? Okay, there's Latios. Okay, uh, Giratina. Uh, size to Giratina. Okay, alright. Gonna put those guys into our hand. Once again, Pikachu has 60 HP. I didn't check to see if Must Man was prized either. So we'll put down Latios. Uh, size to Double Dragon. Uh, Giratina. Fighting Free Belt. The Size to Shaman set up for three. Okay. And let's see what to get off the Shave Bay. Give me a Flow Stone and Geomite Scheme. We are close. So there's a Flow Stone. Uh, this guy here, and we'll go for a Sycamore. We need to find a Muscle Band. Come on down, Muscle Band. Come on down, Muscle Band. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, so we'll train to smell. Oh, we did it. We did it. Uh, so we'll Muscle Band this guy. Uh, we will free retreat into Lydios. Lydios just wants to be MVP. That's why he wanted to get this dog. So we'll go for fast raid for 60, knocking out that Pikachu, and taking the game before my opponent can even draw cards. So there we go. It is possible. We saw the last game. We barely missed it, but there we go. We hit the Mustman and got the knockout. And as you see, this does, this can happen a lot. If you do play against decks that do play a low HP Pokemon. Uh, we can't see where our opponent is playing, but obviously it's got a Raichu deck. It could be the Raichu... I don't know, uh, because he didn't play the Psychic Pokemon, so I'm not exactly sure what he's playing, but we'll take it regardless. It would Matt, this could have been Night March, you won the game turn one. It could have been a Best Queen deck, you win turn one. It could be a Greninja deck, you won turn one. Tremnet, there's so many decks like this that have so low HP that you can just get a Tremnet, I mean, you get a Latios out first turn, and you can take a knockout and win the game, win at least one round pretty easily. But we'll see one more game, and we'll hopefully this one's a long one, and we'll see what happens. Alright, opening is Yo-Yo 2016 playing a Psychic and a Colors deck, which is most likely going to be a Trevna deck. Alright, so we'll see what happens. We'll call heads like always, and we lo lost the coin flip. Alright, so let's see who goes first. That's the big question here. Alright, we're 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 going first. Whatever. Alright, so I like it. Alright, so we start Shea Bay. We got Super Scoop Up, Geobite Scheme, Ultra Ball. Man, if we get another Latios Donk, I'd be so excited. Uh, okay, alright, so we'll press it done. There is, a, oh my goodness, a Gengar deck. Alright, so it's a very interesting. So we'll Ultra Ball, discard uh, Geobite Scheme, and the Lysander. With this, we'll go for Hoopa. Come to me, Hoopa. We will use Scoundering. We'll search for three EX Pokemon, so yes. 
And with this, we will grab a Sidestone, Giratina, and a Shea Bay. All right, so we're actually look like we, we actually blah, 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 blah. we actually look like we're going to have a game. So put down Sidestone, put down Giratina. Will Shaman set up for two? Okay, come to me, Floatstone. I don't want to use Super Scoop ups. Uh, Fighting Fever could be good on the side stone, and we'll go for a super scoop up trying to pick up the act of shame, man. And we'll go for it in. Alright, so we're going to show up my hand in the deck and draw six new cards. And, alright, so there's an AZ for the next turn, a DC, and a crushing hammer. So we're going to DC. Um. Ah, uh, man. I'm just going to end my turn. I don't want to play the DC down just yet, just in case my opponent does play Zerosic. Okay, so I, I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that just right now. But next turn, AC, pick up the Shebe, set up the Toad, put a DC in, Quake Punch for 40, and start doing some damage. There's a Trevor's coming down. And uh, we're not really, we don't care too much about Garbodor. Like, it doesn't really do that much to us. Uh, but see a Trainer's Mill. Going to go top for cards of their deck, and let's see what do they decide to get. Uh, they could go for a night attack, but three damage counters on somebody. But who will they decide to put it down on? It's the question. But we see trainers, Mel. Let's see what does our opponent decide to get out. Yo yo, gonna grab that birch. He's gonna risk it, get the biscuit maybe. Does he? Is he gonna risk it? Don't you lie to me, yo yo. All right, Slack Energy the active. Okay, come on, birch. Come on! Oh, man, it's in! You may let the fans down. You see, they see a birch, they want to see the risk it for the biscuit, but you're just, you're just crushing their dreams. Alright, so we see a DCE, okay, alright, alright, alrighty. Uh, we can Skyline for a Floatstone. Okay, that seems great. Uh, the only problem is, if my opponent gets out a, uh, what is it? They get a DC out next turn, they can start using Dark Order. Toxic Core getting the field as well, okay. Alrighty, and there's a night attack. I'm gonna put three damage counters on to somebody. I wonder who it'll go to. It looks like it is gonna go on our poor little size me toad. Alright, so on our turn, what do we get? We get a team of secret base. So I'm gonna Skyla to grab Mr. Flowstone himself. Come on now, Flowstone. That's why Skyla's so good, because you just get a Flowstone. We could maybe get a puzzle time if we want to, but put Flowstone on that guy. Retreat into Sidestone. DC the active, and we'll go for a Quake Punch for 40. But like I said, if our opponent has a uh a DCE, they can start using night, Dark Quarter, which would do 6, 7, 8, okay, alright, alright. We gotta we got make sure we, we be careful with our math here. Uh, night, dark Quarter could could be start scaring us. But let's see what happens. What will our opponent do? Uh, there's a Slack Energy in the active. We could see a Dimension Valley coming down. Or maybe another Night Attack, which I'm fine with. The Night Attack would be great. And also, we can start piling over Giratina as well, which can do a ton of damage to these uh, to these Dark Rides, which is what we need to see. There's a Light Sender. Bring it up. <sighs> Giratina, come on now, man, bud. What are you doing? Why are you going to the Axe Spot? Uh, once again, man, we could be a secret for Skyla. Uh, to get a Flowstone there, we see Night Attack. I'm going to put three damage counters on Mr. Sidestone himself, okay? Alrighty, now to our turn. What do we get? There's another Giratina hit in our hand. Huh. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to be a seeker for a Skyla, and we are going to grab a Flowstone. I know it's in the deck, so a Skyla for the Flowstone. The question is, there's another Shaman in our deck, so we'll grab the Flowstone. And there's not another Shaman, so we really don't have any more draw support next turn, which is bad. So put a Flowstone down, we will retreat into the Seismic Toad. We'll put a DC on this guy, and we'll go for a Quake and Punch for 30 40 damage, okay. So once again, the question becomes, does my opponent have another Psychic Energy? Can they start using Night Corridor, or Dark Corridor, doing 60 plus Poison, which is not a knockout just yet, which is great. Uh, but let's see, what does our opponent decide to do? Do they have another Psychic Energy, or a Dimension Valley that would let them be able to start using Dark Corridor? Is the Psychic Energy going to the active? Alrighty. So, uh, we'll see Dark Corridor doing 60, hitting us Poison, uh, 70, okay, alright. So, yeah, 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 okay. So on our turn, what do we get? We get a Team Flare Gun, okay. So let's see, we have 70s, uh, 9, 8, so we'll still be okay. We'll still be living uh, if we decide to Quake a Punch right now. So I'm just going to Quake a Punch for 40. Uh, we'll get hit for Poison, which will bring it down to 80. Then 6, 7, which is not a knockout. But we'll get knocked out going back into their turn if we don't replace this Toad. All right, so here comes Size Toad, take a 10 damage, and we have yeah 80, 80 HP left. So we're okay. So I'm just going to draw a card. Unless they play their own Geovita scheme, that could be really bad. Alright, so let's see what they decide to do. Night Court, Dark Quarter is not going to take a knockout. Hopefully you can find some kind of resource. I shouldn't have got the Skylab. There's Dark Quarter. Going to do 60 damage, bringing it up to 200. 
Time to see what do we top deck. Give me something good, Pokemon, please. Help me out. And a uh, Hex Maniac. Well, now. Okay. So I'm going to Ultra Ball discard one and two. And with this, I am going to grab a Latios. No, I'll grab a Toad. What am I talking about? I'll grab a Size Toad. Okay. Alright, so yeah, we'll grab Side Stone. We'll put Side Stone on the field. And the question is, we puzzle time. Yeah, I want to puzzle time because we're in desperate si we're we're in desperate times. Alright, oh, the next card's gonna be a sticker. So do it do it that way. And we'll go for a Quake and Punch for 40 damage. Now that, that Chuck Stroke is gonna be maybe stuck in the axe spot unless my opponent plays a energy to retreat it. I'm gonna send him Shaman because he can tank regardless. My opponent can't play the item card still, even though that we are knocked out. They still can't play the item cards, which is great. So go go Shaman. Oh, it's our opponent's turn. They're gonna draw a card. All right, so let's see what's gonna happen. We're still kind of in a bad situation. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, they can't play any of their item cards, which is great. They did take two price cards. There's a Dimension Valley coming down, which we can't bump with a uh, Team Alka Secret Base if we want to. Um, I'm trying to see when do we tackle with Giratina. I don't know right now. Uh, Probably, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm fine with just keep Quake and Punch the Stocks Croak. If we can find a Headringer, that'd be great as well. Uh, there's Psychic Energy, so we might see retreat into the Gengar. If they want to, they could go for a Triple Poison if they want to as well. Uh, there's a lot of different options our opponent could do right now. Yep, there's a Triple Poison. Okay, so going to do 30 to the active. Um, now, what I might do this turn is try to find a way to attack with Giratina. So there's a Via Seeker. We'll put that Team Aqua Secret Base. We'll be a sticker for a Sycamore. Uh, okay, no Sycamore. So we'll go for an end. We'll both players shuffle the hand into the deck. My opponent will get four, and we'll get six new cards. We're looking for a double dragon so we can Chaos Will this turn. And a Crush Name. If we hit both of these, we'll be A-OK. -okay. All right, so let's go for the Crush Name. Come on, baby. Don't let me down, Crush Name. And heads. All right, so we'll discard the Psychic Energy off the active. We'll put a, a, D, a double dragon on that guy. We will retreat into the Giratina. And we will go for a Chaos Well. Now, this does multiple things. My opponent can't put down a Stadium, so they can't bump our a Team Alka Secret Base. They can't put a, a DC down, which they need a DC to treat because they have a 2 retreat cost now because of the Team Alka Secret Base. Alright, so that's great. That's great for us. So now they have a 2 energy retreat cost. They cannot retreat. And now they have to commit the energy somewhere else if they want to. And let's see, what does our opponent decide to do? This is why Giratina is so good. Because now we locked out tools, special energies, and stadium cards. So they can't put a flowstone on this guy either. Ghastly hitting the field. Oh, Ghastly? Okay, alright. There's a train as well. Good look at the top four cards of their deck. They can still play AZ, though, to get the Toxic out of the Axe spot if they play that card. That's the big question. Oh, or Switch. Yep, that's a card they can play as well. Uh, but next turn, we can Quake and Punch to knock out this Toxic Croak. Which would be great. Uh, there's a Switch into the, uh, into the Gengar. Okay. We'll see Dark Quarter do uh, 60, Poison uh, 70, but we can retreat into Toad, be a Seeker for Life Center, bring up the Toxic or take a knockout. Going down to four, there's a uh, Sphere, uh, Slug Energy on that guy, okay. And there's Sycamore going to discard the hand, draw seven new cards. All right, so let's see what do they get off the seven. They really can't play much right now as is. Like, I don't know, they can't really do that much. But let's see, we could maybe license of Gengar take a knockout because we can do 100 damage to it that'd be great uh he's not really threatening anything else afterwards except for that Gengar if Gengar comes out the Gengar will be start taking names so it's a Garboder coming online with the Garbotoxin but they can't attach any tools to it okay and uh let's see wow man this is an interesting decision do we want to go for the license or bring up the Gengar or the Toxicroak how many Via Seekers have we played we have two Via Seekers uh we played one puzzle time so you have three left okay one Lysander, okay. Hmm. Tough decision on what to do. Now, imagine we'll see my opponent Dark Quarter to the other Gengar. I, I doubt they'll send another Ghastly. Like, they don't, I mean, maybe the Ghastly or the Garboder, no, the Gengar or the Garboder, but there's six damage, okay? Huh. Okay, going to send the Garboder. We'll take 10 damage poison, okay? Yeah, I think Lysander and the Gengar is going to be the better play. Man, but they have the rare candy. We'll be in trouble. We'll put a fair, uh, DC on this guy, and let's go for Lysander. Bring up that Gengar. Once again, we'll be in a situation where we don't have anything else. So we'll Lysander this guy. We'll go for a Chaos Wolf for the knockout. Alright, so knock out that guy. But if he has a rare candy Gengar, he can take a knockout this turn with Gengar, which is pretty funny. So take two prize cards. There is a Crush Namer and a Super Scoop Up. Alrighty, let's see what does my opponent do. That's the big question. What skin my opponent can now play tools, uh, special energy cards, or stadium cards down only to the field? 
All right, does he have rare candy a rare candy Gengar? That's the question. Okay, here Gar Garboder, and I'll find Garboder coming up because our opponent really can't do that much with it. So my opponent's gonna draw a card. Okay. And I think next turn we're just going to treat the Toad and start Quaking Punching. There's a Haunter coming down, which is going to leave both of us confused. Okay, if they want to, which I imagine they will. All right, so both of us are confused. All righty, and uh, let's see what else does our opponent do. Now, I think I'm just going to retreat to uh, Size Toad, try to crush him, discard a Psychic to drop this guy, and start Quaking Punching the Garboder while we can. I think it's a smart play. Psych okay, maybe uh, we'll get Psychic to drop the Gengar. I think that's a little bit more scarier for us. But we'll see what happens. Uh, next turn, we'll Quake and Punch, so they can't play Switch anymore. They can't play Flowstone. If they play AZ, that's how they can get the Garboder out of the Axe Spot. Once again, they still won't be able to play Tools, because that is an item card, which is great for us. Uh, there's a Shaman coming down. Go to draw two cards with Shaman coming down. Uh, I don't, it doesn't really matter too much. Like We could maybe Lysander, Chaos Well, uh, but we don't have a, we need a, a Zerosic discard the Flowstone and then attach a Muscle Man, which is very hard. And then Lysander Shaman, so that's a, that's a hard combo to pull off. But we see Birch Tails only get four. That's why you should have used Birch earlier, because if you used Birch earlier, you would have got seven. But now you only got four, because you flipped Tails. All right, there we see a Starling Megaphone. Oh, no. That's really bad, okay, because... <laughs> oh, no, okay. All right, fair enough, fair enough. All right, I'll allow, I'll, I'll allow. So poison damage, uh, hitting for a stand. And on our turn, what happens? Okay, so we get Ultra Ball. I want to go for a Super Scoop Up. Heads, oh man, who would you pick up? Uh, three, I'm gonna send up, I'm gonna pick up a Shaman. Alright. I'm gonna retreat into this guy, because we can do that. We, we, we are discarding th two energies, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, we'll send the, the Toad, we'll put a Double Dragon on this guy, play a Crush Neighbor, try to discard Psychic Earth. This thing, Tells, okay. And we'll go for a Shaman, set up for three new cards, yes. And let's see, what do we get? Uh, Sycamore, okay, so I'm gonna Quake a Punch. Or 30. Okay, so now that Garboder is going to be stuck in the act spot. And they already use Hunter, so they can't confuse this again. So under our opponent's turn. And what I'm going to try to do is double dragon this guy. Sycamore, hit a Lysander, bring up this guy. And then get a Muscle Man or something to knock out the Shaman. So I think that's our plan of attack. While keeping this Garboder stuck in the act spot. Alright, so we'll see how this works out. I don't know. It, it's the best play I have right now. It's like you got a Gengar. Okay. Uh, there's a Gengar coming down, which has the Creep Show. If your opponent has... If your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, that Pokemon is knocked out. So we'll put a Double Dragon on this guy, and we'll Ultra Ball, discard AZ and the uh, Size Toad. And let's see what's left in our deck. Uh, we'll grab the Lydios, just to discard it, draw seven to guards. And we have the, we have these win conditions in our deck. So I'm going to Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Alright, there's a, okay, so we get to get a knockout next turn of Toxicroak, and then... We could get the knockout on the Shea Bay. So that's what we're going to try to go for. So we'll take a punch for 30. Going to keep that Garboarder stuck in the Axe spot. Okay. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to draw a card. Uh, we could maybe... No, nah, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to take a knockout on the Toxicroak. I think that's the best play for sure. I think that's what we're going to do. So on our turn, we are going to uh, play Crush Namer. Try to discard a Psychic Energy off this guy. So heads. Discard a Psychic Energy. We'll put down a Giratina. In this case, the Ennis. This is why I'm doing this. So, put a fighting probe this guy. We will muscle band this guy. We will be a seeker for Lysander. Alright, we'll bring up that Toxicroak, take a knock on it, and it give, it'll give our uh, Side Strut even more HP because we have the fighting crew belt. So, we'll do that. And we'll go for a Quake and Punch for 40 damage to knock out the Toxicroak. And next turn, we can a Lysander Shaman take our last two prize cards. There's one and two. We get a Crush Namer and a Trainer's Nell. And Trainer's Bell is just going to help us to try to get that another puzzle of time. Now, puzzle time, we'll have to probably get a, uh, we'll have the double puzzle for, like, a Via Seeker. And he probably set a Super Scoop up, just in case we missed the first one. But let's see, if my opponent has a license right now, they could take a knockout on Giratina EX if they have another Psychic Energy as well, which would be really bad. But there's a Skyla, uh, let's see, Sinners to Fog, your opponent's active Pokemon without Poison. Put one damage count on each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Alrighty. Uh, there's a Dimension Valley, which they could put down to, I don't know, maybe you Creep Show the following turn if they want to. So, the Dimension Valley coming down, okay. Oh, he has free retreat as well, which is nice. Okay. So, uh, if he has a Psychic Energy, he can maybe use this King or Dark Corridor. Alright, so let's see what does our point decide to do. But next turn, we have the win condition. They already play Skyless, so they can't end us. Uh, we gotta go for a Trainer's Bell, try to hit a, another puzzle of time. So there's a night attack. I'm gonna put three damage counters onto somebody. I wonder who it'll go onto. It'll go into the active side start. Alright, so on our turn, what do we get? 
There's a double puzzle time. Okay. So I'm gonna double. Yeah, I'm gonna double puzzle. Oh, let's let's change well first. Let's see what we got off the change bell. We'll grab a puzzle time. All right. We'll then play another trainer's bell. Okay. We'll grab a super. So we have two super scoop ups. Okay. So that's super scoop up number one. And so we'll pick up the side turn. We'll sit at the Giratina. We will double puzzle to grab a VS Seeker. And since we have three puzzle times, we can actually grab another puzzle time as well. So we can grab like this and this. And now you can use the other puzzle times for two cards if you wanted to. But we're just going to be a Seeker for a Lysander. And we're going to bring up that Bench Shaman. That Shaman actually did matter in the end. So we're going to bring up that guy. And we'll Chaos Well for 120 damage. To take the game, the game against this deck, I was actually pretty scared because that dark quarter or night quarter, dark quarter, sorry, can keep switching the active with the bench. We even prize our headringer, which is pretty bad as well. But there, you go, guys, there is dark Rai, not, not dark Rai, Oh my goodness, I want to say darker Giratina because that's what I'm used to playing. But Sidestone Giratina, and you can see why the deck is so strong. You have all these different options to make with Sidestone and Giratina to decide when to attack with who, which is pretty nice. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you have a great Monday. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Wait, hold on. Let's look at our opponent's deck real quick. Oh, uh, they play two Hunter. The second Hunter can be really scary. Especially as they, uh, they, uh, what is it? They confuse us. Alright, guys. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright, guys. I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. All right, you're putting against Dan, 007, playing a Psychic, Lightning, and a Colors deck. That's most likely going to be a Night March deck, so call heads like always. And we lost the coin post, so we'll be going second. And we will not be able to get that turn one donk on this Night March deck. It could be, oh, yep, yep, it's definitely Night March because they're allowing us to go first. But they don't know, oh, no, this hand. Oh, Pokemon, please help me. Don't do this to me. Come on now. We're, we, <laughs> oh, Pokemon. All right, so we'll start Shade, babe. I'm so scared right now. All right, so, okay, we need a top deck. We need a top deck of the century. And... All right, so we're going to bring up this guy. We will <laughs> put that team off a secret base, fighting Fear Belt, and we'll pass and see what happens. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> I'm just waiting for. Oh, mm, yep. Mm -hmm, that's card. Mm-hmm. Yep. So one. It needs two more. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Well, 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 just keep on going. Just keep on going, Charlie Brown. Just keep on going. Just keep on. Keep on going. Don't stop the party. Don't stop it yet. Just keep on. Just keep on going. Oh, he stopped. He had Sycamore. No, oh, well, that's, that's how you lose.